it for my hashtag the person behind the game special video. Now, 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 for the fun part, tagging. <laughs> I'll be tagging these five lovely fellows right here because I'm pretty certain that these five people actually have a pretty high chance of fo on following through with the challenge. So basically, um, what you guys will have to do is uh, come up with 10 random facts about yourself and um, when you're done, tag uh, 3 to 5 other people. And that would be it for my hashtag the person behind the games video. If you enjoyed this video, do comment down your thoughts, leave a like and share this video or of course be an... Hi, how your boss is doing? Ryoko here. And, um, I've been tagged to the TPBTG, the person behind the games. <clears throat> and I have to list 10 things about me. Which, gotta say, there's too much to tell. Uh, but I was originally living with my grandparents when, and well, they're technically my parents that adopted me. But, uh, yeah. My grandfather found me at March 13th, uh, 1989, and then I started living with, um, him and his wife in an Amish town. That means I didn't really know much about electronics, and I'm barely coping with that. Uh, number two, first school that I have ever been to was a uh, Catholic school over there in Pennsylvania. I forgot where, but I know it was a Catholic school because I made fun of a uh, nun in that time. Uh, but uh, that soon came to an end. Because I was a very bad child in a Catholic school by um, saying I wanted to be God. Because um, we had a project back in kindergarten, huh? Uh, finding out what we wanted to be when we grow up. Many people thought, oh, I want to be a tree so I can grow tall. Oh, I want to be a doctor. Oh, I want to be a lawyer. I just went and straight up said, I want to be God. I want people to worship me. And, uh, that, that got me my first, uh, soap in mouth and spanking. And, uh, my grandfather was not too kind on that part because, uh, he didn't like the fact that I said something that was practically an impossible goal to begin with because I actually took what he said literally which was uh, find something that seems impossible so you can make it possible in the future. Yeah, that's what I did. Fact number three. Uh, I was not playing video games at the start of my childhood. Instead, my first friend that was Asian, uh, that was um, J Japanese, uh, he had a Nintendo, a Sega, an Atari, and I believe also a PlayStation 1. Uh, he's the one 
who has played video games in front of me, and that's how I actually like the whole persona of uh, watching other people play video games. It's like watching your best friend play. <sighs> Number four. The first consoles I got were the were the ones that my friend had. I didn't buy him. When he passed away, he gave them to me. In a box. With a TV inside, also in the box. And pictures. With a note. Um... I think that's like the... The month? No, wait. Like, I've been like that for like three months where it hit me really hard because it was like the first death I ever really experienced. Sure, uh, I have killed many animals and fish and stuff like that, but that was like my first death. And I, I really don't want to say this, but it is, it, it's kind of my fault. It was my own fault for, um, for being so depressed that my grandfather took me to a place and that's when he died. If I wasn't so depressed back then, I think he wouldn't have that urge to do something. And then he wouldn't have that heart attack. I didn't want to blame myself for the longest of time. And, but my grandma has completely blamed me when I was younger. She has passed away as well. Uh, but, uh, she, she really loved my grandfather. So much so that she died of a broken heart. Uh, if I wasn't so depressed back then, I think I would have gotten better. And I think I would have opened that box a lot sooner. That's not the only thing that was horrible on my end. See, my Gramps was a very good man. Sometimes. And I remember so much about him. But I didn't really appreciate that I had to learn of the real world. And I didn't really like the fact that when I was younger I just put myself in a black hole. Because that's how it felt back then. Hell, I, I even attempted suicide just to join my grandfather. Uh, let's hope this won't be too depressing. Five. <sighs> I moved to a lot of places. Oh, I wasn't so proud that I moved to a lot of places. Because when I was younger, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't have jobs that well. I did have my first job when I was like 14. And that was in a kitchen uh, that made soups and German food. And, uh, I tried to work as hard as I could to keep my, and because I actually did keep my education. I went to high school right after, uh, 
my grandparents' death. I didn't go to middle, middle school at all. I have my um, diploma, and I have a GED, because I, I thought um, I would never get my diploma. Uh, the reason why I had to travel is because I used a lot of people in that dark world that I created for myself. I used uh, so many people just so I can go to sleep in a house, and then I steal whatever they had and dump them. That was back in Pennsylvania. I used to also live in, uh, I used to live in Southwick, Massachusetts, which is a very quiet town. I left that place, uh, after a few months because I was just taking care of my godchild instead of doing what I was supposed to do, which was find a lot of jobs that can hire me. Uh, what else? After I moved to Southwick, I moved to Washington, D.C., and after Washington, D.C., I moved to Texas. And Texas was the first time that I have ever got taken aback of because people were nice, and that scared me. I'm still not used to the whole niceness. But, uh, after that stuff, uh, was over in Texas, I used to live in New Mexico. And then, after New Mexico, I lived in California. In a cheap place. Uh, I lived in Chino, California. And then, uh, I lived in... San Fran. That's where I met my my first sibling. Uh, seems like he had the same name that I did. Seems like my father has that tendency to name all his children him. Uh, when I saw my brother, I thought he was a very hot-looking transvestite. And then when he had an allergy attack, we took him to the hospital. When he was doing this thing in drag queen stage. Because I, I was into the you know, dinner theater, and I saw that, and I'm all like, okay, let's go there. They, and they kept saying my name, so I thought they were, like, talking about me, because I was also certified back then to be uh, in ambulance or in, in um, respite care, which sometimes requires you to go inside an ambulance. So they kept calling my name, and then I realized it was my brother. Hooray. Family reunion wasn't really needed on that one. Uh, then, after California, I moved to Arizona. Because in California, there was a businessman who wanted to make a couple restaurants over here in Arizona. Years pass, and I'm still with that businessman. Not in a romantic type of thing. More like a... I hate this douchebag, but he he knows how to get me to work. Uh, throughout this whole time span, I, I think I put in some info. I don't know what info I have right now. I think that was the fifth one. Sixth one. Uh, I am a chef. 
Uh, right now, I am a pastry chef and a, a saucier, which is a person who makes sauces for different foods. I am making French food, and I am making pastries and desserts and all that junk Cone would fucking love. Uh, number seven. I hate sweets. I hate a lot of sweets. I like salty food. And, uh, I had, like, the, I had to eat, like, nine cheeseburgers at one point. When I stopped having, uh, when I stopped having meat around this place. All I was eating was like half ramens and salad for a while and then I just simply crashed and got like nine cheeseburgers from McDonald's. My diet is horrendous. Uh, my health is horrendous as well. Let's talk about my health. Number eight. Uh. Yeah. Uh. I have half a liver. Uh. My lungs are tainted and, uh, has been infected before. It's like a black mulch right across there. My bronchial tubes have, uh, not been infected, but it's it has like the epitome of having um, asthmatic attacks. I can't produce blood. I have to regularly uh, go to a doctor to get more blood inside my veins. Um, I have AB negative blood. Uh, one of the rarest blood types, and I can't seem to have donors at all. Uh, let's see what else. I had surgery, um, to remove my, uh, parts of my gallbladder, and I had surgery for my appendicitis, because I have that at some point. Uh, I have broken both my hands before, and, uh, that's why it, when you see my hand, uh, this, this one's crooked, and this one's crooked, and this one's crooked. It's on the same on my other hand. Uh, what else? My eyesight is terrible, but, uh, I prefer watching blurs than watching people faces. Uh, I guess I should talk about that, huh? Number nine. It's not that I'm antisocial. It's more like uh, I have had this deep hatred for humans. So much so that uh, I don't know what I... I just don't want to be near the human race anymore. <laughs> I like being locked up inside my room and, wa and watching other people. That sounds fucking creepy. Sounds like a f like I'm some type of fucking stalker. Uh, but no. I actually like watching other people's videos. And what else? I'm a woman. No, I'm kidding. You guys already know that. Uh, what can be my ten? Uh, oh, number ten. How I started my YouTube. Uh, it started way, way back then. Early 2006, I'm guessing. Somewhere along those lines. No, wait. It's very early. 
I... I recorded a lot. Of dumb shit. And I was really young. Um... I say I was like... 15? If I was 15, it would have been 15 years ago, right? No. Uh, it was... Yeah, I was like 15. And it was like 11 fucking years ago that I actually made a video. My first video was... Uh, that I uploaded on YouTube, by the way, a long ass time ago was uh of me and drinking with my uh, my friends my my two no wait three friends and we were actually making fun of uh how people say things because i i was with my grandfather for a very long time so and he's like a half brit half german type of Dude, so he will always speak in like a British accent. So I I channeled his stuff right there, and I'm like, okay, uh, since uh, I know a couple of words from England, um, let's make this very offensive video of uh, of an Australian, an English person, and an American. And that, and that's how we started our. I started my channel. And the reason why I started my channel is because we used to have this thing called MSN. Oh, Hotmail. Jeez. That's a scary thought. <laughs> uh, and the video was too big for instant message, so I put it on YouTube. And then I, I took people over there. There's no chance of you finding that video. Only because I was one of the early, early YouTubers. And the reason why you can't find the video is because YouTube took down my oldest channel. I mean the very, very oldest channel. Right now, this is like my third time having a channel. Because usually Google fucks it up. Uh, YouTube fucked my, um, my shit up, and I, I know why. It was understandable. I was underage, and I was drinking. And, and yet, it was very fucking funny. It's not a good thing to promote. And I think that was, like, so many years ago that you even saw the page for Smosh. Smosh. And Boxy. I don't even think anybody remembers Boxy. Uh, but yeah, and that's how it happened. And that's how my first YouTube experience was. I had a lot of good feedback, but I also had like a bunch of bad feedback. I got like 5,000 one stars. They don't even rate people with one star, so I'm guessing it's like dislike. It was so much bad. Um, dislike on that one. Uh, and I think that's it. I would tag people, but I don't know who to tag anymore. So, instead of me trying to tag people, whoever watches this video is now tagged for the person behind the games. Alright, see you later, bye.